It's always great to have you back here at the Power Mods headquarters. Uh, you know, this has been an epic year for us, uh, riding in the powder, and it's not a complaint, it's actually a good thing that we've been getting so much powder that when I'm riding this sled, and a lot of you guys who run these uh, Polaris Axis and the Skidoos, your Gen 4s and all that, you guys notice that uh, you get powder bog. When your vents get covered at the worst possible time, especially when you're having fun, you know, you got the grin from ear to ear kind of deal, and uh, you get the powder bog, and it's basically just the snow getting plugged up over your vents and it chokes it out. Well, we now have these extreme air vents. We sell them, we can get them for you in Canada and the United States. We've just installed them right here on our sled. Take a look at these things, these are great. These look like they've almost doubled my air intake. Uh, it's just incredible how much more breathing we're gonna get out of these. Right, now if you look down here, these are the stock air intakes. And there's a, you know, there's a mesh in behind there, um, but that gives you an idea about the size. And these are pretty darn close. So we've just installed those. They have this nice tough mesh behind there. So when you roll the sled and it hits a branch, you know, it's not gonna just drive a hole right through it like what happens with some of my other vents. Um, we tried putting these little guys in here because I was getting that powder bog thing. I found these on an old sled, so we drilled them out, put them in. Uh, but what happens is they just get full of powder and then you can't get the powder out. It literally has to melt out. Might be good for a real kind of a, like a dry day when you're not playing in the powder, but they're not that effective. Like, this is really old school stuff right here, these little gizmos. Like, I don't know when those came out, probably the 1970s. Uh, but now this is the new, the new thing. This is what we got. Now, Extreme Air Vents also make complete venting for this sled we're going to be installing those in the near future but i just want to get these on for our next ride because she needs to breathe boys she needs to breathe so we're going to install these i'm going to show you exactly what we did to get them installed this would take about five minutes we prefer to take the air box out so we can make sure there's nothing left in there there's no little bits of plastic that can get sucked into your motor uh, but you can do it right on the sled if you want just uh, watch the video see for yourselves oh these are going to be nice Oh, those are gonna be nice. Okay. So we've got this handy little template here. You can obviously work on both sides. All we're gonna do, mark where that's gonna be. How's your sound, Simon? It's good, there's a lot of ambient sound. Yeah. Well, it's, there's a lot of action going on in here. Sorry for all the noise. Uh-oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got one eye that's good and the other one's not so good. Everybody knows that. Nobody's judging, right? Oh my God, look at me. I can't even draw on a line. I'm just, oh yeah, thanks Simon. That's oh, all good, I'm kidding. <laughs> just, oh, jeez Louise. Let's see how that works. Just out of curiosity's sake. That's where that's gonna be. Right? Yep. And we can do this. One there, one there, one there, and one there. So we know where our holes go. So basically this is where my cut's gonna end up in this corner, right? Or thereabouts. That's very soft plastic, wow. And do one in each corner. Of course, we took this off the sled because I don't like any of these little plastic shavings ending up in there. Stuck between a piston and a ring and a wall, cylinder wall. That's kind of why I do that. I'm gonna start it there. Well, sometimes what happens because it gets hot, that happened, it's just sort of re-adhered itself to this. Because I did cut that. The blade gets hot. That's what went down. I don't know. Maybe this will just sort of help me right now. 
I did come down that edge, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> I did. Just keep your groin and your leg and any femoral arteries away from this knife. I think the whole goal of this is to let it breathe as well as we can, right? So the more you trim off, the better. That's going to be perfect. What do you think, Simon? I think that's awesome. It looks good. You can do this on the machine. Um, you can go through and you can sort of suck out the little bits and pieces and make sure that everything's out of there, but I don't know. I. Uh, I just want to make sure that it's kind of done right. So we'll do all this work. You got to make sure that nothing gets stuck down in behind that bracket because if a lump gets caught in there and then gets sucked into your motor, um, that wouldn't be good. But so far, so good, man. This is going to be awesome. Um, not this one or this one right there. So we know where our holes are. It is going to want to plunge on you, so go easy on it. Perfect. I'm not going to drill them all out because guaranteed. Do you want to put the silicone in first? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I do. Actually, what I'm going to do, Simon, is this. I'm going to do this. All right. See if I can do this without wrecking that film. We're going to pull this back out. There we go. Good. Now, I'm looking in here and I see all kinds of little areas where light gets in. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm gonna go way back in here. I'm gonna uh, hit this with RTV just to seal it up. I just noticed that this one is a little loose. We, we sealed that up last year and it sort of came off again. So we're gonna go and hit that one as well. I don't want any, any, uh, contaminants getting in through there. The snow, that's not good. When your motor's working real hard and like super hard, it's super hot, super heat soaked, and you hammer it with a fresh blast of uh, wet snow on top of a piston, that's not so good. So I'm at a clear silicone, go figure. Uh, so I'm just gonna lay a small bead. You know what, I'm gonna try it on here, Simon. I'm just gonna see if I can lay a... We're talking just a wee bit on here. Because that fine powder, man, it's going to want to work its way underneath that. You will never know this is not factory. You know what I like about this too? It's got this nice, strong material behind it. It's not a big, thick screen that, I've had issues with screens getting smashed by sticks. Um, you know, we roll them in the trees and whatnot. That's what happens. This is gonna be, that's some pretty tight looking stuff right there. I like it. Nice. 
That is solid all the way around. Boom. Boom. So these come supplied with the uh, rivets that you're going to need, the template, and then make a full line of uh, venting for your sleds. And like I said, we sell this stuff. You can pick it up from us. Easy peasy. What do you think, Simon? Looks good to me. Oh my God, that's gonna be so much better. Oh, I know it is gonna be better. I'm gonna do the squeeze method. One of those. One of those. I know she's gonna breathe a lot better. I'm gonna take it out this week. Uh, we have some heavy powder to hit up north. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Good old great white north kind of riding. I gotta thank you for coming back as usual. Of course, we sell these at www.powermods.com. We do ship to Canada and the United States. What a great invention. Extreme air vents. Very nice. Another fine contribution by a hard working fella, Tom Walters.